All right, guys, Dothocracy here, and I'm set up with my new, the new Razor Blade Stealth. I got it all set up. Uh, one of the things I thought I wasn't going to enjoy, but I actually enjoy quite a lot, is actually this little RGB thing here. But anyway, what I wanted to do is, because it's the Razer brand, um, a lot of people are coming into it thinking that it's going to be a gaming PC. The Stealth specifically is not a gaming PC by trade, or at least not comparable to, let's say, the Razer Blade or any of like the other high-end laptops like the MSIs or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to test a couple of common games just to see how they run, how they fare, and, uh, and see exactly what we're getting. Uh, now, this is the 4K monitor. And uh, I did a little testing beforehand, and uh, just right straight front up, uh, without the external uh, connection to like the Razer Core, you're really not going to be able to game in 4K. <laughs> I uh, I might be able to show an example of what that does, but uh, like in uh, a couple games I tried trying to run it in 4K is going to cause it to just crash. The computer just just cannot handle it. Um, so most games are going to be running at your recommended settings uh, from the game, and I can tweak it uh, from there and uh, beyond. So let's start with, uh, let's try Minecraft. That's a very uh, easy game to run, so it should be just fine. On a 4K monitor, the only thing is that everything starts off a little small, so you have to, you know, you have to enlarge it. But after you do that... Let's see here. You're getting a little taste of the speed too. So if we go down to our options, uh, we can see that for the video settings, it's you know fancy. You know, basically these are pretty basic settings. Minecraft's not that uh, intense when it comes to the graphics, of course. And if we go into our single player, I uh, just uh, generate a new world here. We'll just play that. All right. And we find ourselves just kind of milling around. So let's just jump around here. And you can kind of see everything's looking, you know, for the most part, pretty, everything's fine. And, you know, I click, I can punch. So no problems here for the most part. You see the water, everything's good. Um, there's not a lot of, um, there's no dipping in the frame rate, everything's pretty solid, but it's Minecraft, that's what you expect. So if you're just looking to play Minecraft, or if you're looking to play something that's pretty low resource, at least when it comes to the graphics, uh, this will do you just fine, like just about any laptop. So this one's not too bad. Um, I don't really think I can crank up the, the specs too much unless I'm going crazy field of vision and things like that, that I don't think anyone really wants to play. Uh, anyway... So Minecraft is pretty, is a no-brainer. Let's quit that. Now, the next step up, in my opinion, would be a game like Rocket League, right? Where you can get it to look really pretty or you can get it to look uh, really gnarly because it does have such a range of its video settings. And you're also getting a sense of the speed that, this, uh, that the laptop has. Like I said, this is the... Um, this is the 512 gigabyte uh, 4K monitor model. So there we go. And now, if you look, uh, everything's pretty good on the frame rate. Let's see. And if I can just get into the video settings, you'll see what it's at right now. So, uh, just a little background. I set everything to performance. Performance, performance high performance, and this is actually running at 4K, but with all the settings to garbage otherwise. And you'll see how it runs. So this is technically 4K, although it's 4K in the, I don't know what you want to call that, the lightest sense of the word. It's like, oh yeah, 4K garbage. So this is running at 4K right now. It is running pretty smoothly. There is some like a little choppiness, a little skippiness when it comes to the frames, but um, it still runs pretty well, in my opinion, from what I can tell. So you can game in 4K on this thing, uh, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't really bet on it. 
or at least you won't be able to see everything and it won't be really pretty. Now you can actually pump up all the specs and you'll see what happens when I bring everything up to par. So instead of performance, we're going high quality this time. Oh yeah. And you can see, oh yeah, we're going everything shaders, this, step, the field, bloom. These are all the settings that it probably took for my desktop. And then, oh, and then you see, oh, it is a much different game now. You're getting about like five frames. Yeah, so, but it is gaming in 4K, would you look at that? So that's, uh, yeah, the video is not slowing down. That is the actual frame rate. So let's just get out of that. And I find that one of the best things that you can do, of course, is take it out of 4K and bring it down to something like, oh, let's see. Uh, you probably want to go something like 12, 80, 12, 80, 720. That's going to give you pretty solid performance. Oh yeah, so you can also tell like the mouse is moving quicker, everything's moving a little bit quicker, and the game is back to top speed, although it's got motion blur on it and it's not really something that I appreciate. And something that's a little interesting, I don't think that's a part of the game, but it has these little, um, oh, that might be, No idea what's going on down at the bottom here, but I think that might have, might have something to do with motion blur. Anyway, these are kind of unusual settings that I set it to, but that is new one for that. So Rocket League can work on a, on a variety of different settings, though 4K can run on very, very basic, um, but normally what you want to do is you want to put them in like 1280 to 720, or, you know. Lastly... Another popular game here. I'm gonna try Overwatch. Now, Overwatch always, uh, when you for the first time you run it, it's gonna start in its uh, recommended settings. So, so far so good. This is one of the games where when I tried to run it at 4K, it would just do like a hard crash on me. So just going to some training. Uh, let's see, let's practice versus some AI. Okay. So the nice thing is, like they recommend, you can game with the core on this one, and it should run a whole lot better. But, let's just try Tracer here. We're just gonna jump into the game. So this is on um, low quality settings, obviously. Um, you're not gonna get that 4K crispness, because when you do this one, I'm not gonna try it because it'll crash the game, but um, it is pretty low. Uh, you're looking like 30 FPS. Yep, and uh, what you can also do, is you see here, it's got the 1280 to 720. Uh, V-Sync, all the stuff is pretty much off. It's limited to 30 FPS. Graphics quality is low. So that's really what you're going to get. But you can game. So it's not impossible. It's just pretty improbable. And while the AI misses Tracer from Point Blank Range for some reason, we're going to try our last game. It's my personal favorite of the group. I'm going to try some CS Source. Sorry, some CSGO. So I just yearn for the old days sometimes. And with the new spray patch, I'm just, that's all I'm thinking. And you can hear it definitely revs up when you try and turn on any game. All right. And so, so this had uh, what this would do is it would actually, it can do 4K, but it will lock up 
when I try to join um, a server, even like an offline server. So I did set it to the 1280-720, which is what you'll be gaming on if you want to do anything. We're going to do a little just offline here, get into a server. Can't do the console commands with one hand, so I'll just do a classic D dust. No bots. And it will, the only thing about this one is it will take just a minute for it to get, uh, load the resources and get into the game. But from what you can tell so far is, while you can game, this is obviously, and it's not marketed to be, it is not a gaming PC. It is an ultra bug. It does things like internet well, it does, you know, all of your little office suite stuff. It does have high resolution, so you can use it to view pictures and watch, uh, watch videos and things like that in high 4K. Um, and it does also come with the optionality of having an external hard drive through the core, which can let it run these um, pretty graphically intensive games at the higher resolutions. I do not have the core, so I can't demonstrate it, but that's what it's supposed to be out of the box. And there's some other uh, videos you can see that I think does a pretty good job of explaining exactly what the relationship between the core and the stealth is. Uh, my personal favorite that I wish go to would be Linus Tech Tips. They do really good videos about this kind of stuff, though they haven't... Um, I haven't really seen them do their whole overview of the new new stealth, but I'm sure that'll be coming later. Uh, so now we can finally get in this game. It takes a little bit to go, so we're going to get the counter terrorist side here. And you can see, you know what, you're going pretty good through this. Yeah. And so this is re low resolution, you can probably game uh, pretty good. You'll have no problem. Uh, it'll basically, at this point, it'll just be depending on your latency. Alright. Let's get in the sun here. Hmm. Alright. And you can see, the resolution is still pretty good. Oh, yeah. So you'll be able to do it, but... Uh, if you were hoping for a 4K gaming machine, you might look more towards the um, the core to try and have that. Um, I know the new Razer Blade does not have a 4K screen, so you won't be able to do it on that, even though it has higher horsepower. It was more built to spec for gaming, so it's going to have um, you know that kind of lower resolution so it can run stuff faster. For some reason, it moved my icons around, which is always good to have, have happen, but that's fine. Anyway, I hope this answers some of the questions that y'all have been having about the new Razer Blade Stealth and what it can do in games. I didn't really try any really graphically intensive games like I was trying to try The Witcher 3 on it, but uh, it might that's pretty much a little bit out of the range of this baby, so I was just trying some common multiplayer games that a lot of people play, Overwatch, Rocket League, Minecraft, and uh, CSGO. So... Hope this answers your questions. If you have uh, any more questions, feel free to put it in the comments. I've been answering them pretty regularly, and if you liked it, be sure to make sure you like on this video so I'll know that uh, I can keep making videos about this because people seem to be interested. And if you're looking for more videos about just kind of random stuff that I have around the house that I unbox, yep, you can subscribe too. And I'm thinking about doing um, something with hot sauces. Anyway, uh, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks.